Welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I decided to start the Intermediate R course. I'm assuming I'll still only be able to get part way through it before um, it wants me to upgrade to do most of the course, but I'll at least start it. So this exercise is about understanding the equality operator. It wants us to start by comparing true with false. We then move on to see if negative 6 times 14 is not equal to 17 minus 101. We are then told to see if use r is equal to user. And now they want us to compare true and one. So I'm going to go through this. Um, my thoughts on line two, true is not false. Uh, this line will uh, evaluate to false because those are exactly uh, opposites. Those are definitely different. Those are not the same thing. That's the entire point. Um, a boolean has two options, and false is one, true is the other, and they are not the same. Uh, this. Negative 6 times 14 would be negative 60 plus negative 24, so that's negative 84. 101 minus 17 would be 90. 80, 83, so that could be 84, 84, negative 84, so that could end up being true. Um, because we have a capital R inside a string, R is not looking at the value that this is an uppercase version of this. It's looking at the representation of the character, as far as I, as far as I know. So the representation of a capital R is different than the representation of a lowercase r, so those are different. It doesn't see them as related in any way, as far as I know. If there's a function that does uppercase, then uh, that would have them connected in some way. But just for comparing strings, that wouldn't apply. Uh, the languages that I'm used to, false is zero, true is one. So that could end up being true, so we'll see. Alright, we have, for line two, we have false. For line five, we have false. Oh, so it says they're not equal, so they are equal. Uh, they are the same thing. Then for line 8, we have false. Because the two R's are different. And for line 11, we have true. Submit. And that just explains it. Continue. So for this exercise, we are remembering the greater than and less than or greater than equal to, less than equal to. For line 2, they want us to check if negative 6 times 5 plus 2 is greater than or equal to negative 10 plus 1. For line 5, they want us to compare if raining is less than or equal to raining dogs. And for line 8, they want us to compare if true is greater than false. My thoughts on this? Negative 6 times 5 is negative 30, plus 2 is negative 28, negative 10 plus 1 is negative 9. So, greater than or equal to would be true. Uh, for line 5, comparing strings, 
I'm going to assume this side is greater. So this would evaluate to true. And for logicals, true is 1, and 1 is greater than 0. So let's run this. For line 2, we have false. So I don't know if I did the math wrong or if I got confused between greater than or less than. For line 5, we have true, which I believe means this side is greater. Which I don't know if it's because it has more characters and it adds something, or if it's that this character has a value greater than null, because this would be null at that point. And line 8, we have true, because 1 is greater than 0. Alright, let's submit. Alright, continue. For this exercise, they want us to use comparison operators, which would be the greater than, less than, or the greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, with vectors. For line 6, they want us to see how many in each of these vectors is greater than 15. Or not how many, it wants us, it wants to know which ones. Okay, look, here, I'll just show you. I believe what we're supposed to do is we type linked in greater than 15. Now let me run this and see what happens. Oh, okay. It's greater than 15. Uh, so let's look at this and it says true, false, 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 true, false. So yeah, that worked out. Now on line 10, now it wants to know from LinkedIn which which ones were less than 5. And now we should have it say when was LinkedIn greater than Facebook. So it would compare. So for the first day, Facebook is greater. So that would be the first one would be false on that. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but when I highlight something is when the console is not able to run it and it tells me that it doesn't recognize the variable. So I don't know what that's about, but I can't have anything highlighted when I click run. Okay, so let's look at these. All right, we already saw line six, where is LinkedIn is greater than 15. Now we have line 9, where LinkedIn is less than 5. So the only one that's true is this number 2 here right in the middle. And then the last one, where is LinkedIn greater than Facebook? We have false, true, true, false, false, true, false. Oh, okay, because they're equal, it's not greater than. Alright, let's submit. Nope, incorrect. Oh, I mixed the second one up. It says, uh, only five times or fewer. So this was supposed to also have an equal sign there. So if I run this, then it has, um, uh, two true answers. Because you have the five right here. Now we submit. Continue. For this exercise, what they want us to do is use comparison operators on matrices. They give us the views matrix. So I'm going to see if I can just do... Uh, here we're supposed to see where views equals 13. It's supposed to print out a full matrix, so uh, true and false values. Let's see what happens. Oh, it does. Uh, oh, there are two spots where it equals 13. Okay, so now we just have to do the same thing where views is less than or equal to 14. 
so you have a pretty good mix of trues and falses in here. So I'm going to submit. Continue. In this exercise, they're teaching us the and and or. So that's the ampersand and uh, the pipe thing. I forget what that's called. And so they go through some... Um, if you do and or or what evaluates to true or false. So they give us a variable called last, which is the last day of the uh, LinkedIn views. So on line six, they want us to say is last less than five or is last greater than 10. On line 9, they want us to say is last greater than 15 and is last less than 21. Now, they probably want us to use less than or equal to 20. We'll see if this works. I'm lazy in that way. So this, evaluate, this is line 6, evaluates to true. And... Line 9 evaluates to false. Let's submit and see if they accept it. They do. Continue. For this exercise, we're going to do the AND and OR operators, but with a matrix, which is the views matrix that comes from the LinkedIn and Facebook vectors. On line 4, they want us to see when LinkedIn was greater than 10, and Facebook less than 10. On line 7, they want us to see when either, so we're putting or, we're going to do LinkedIn at least 12, so greater than or equal to 12, or Facebook greater than or equal to 12. On line 10, they want to see where views is greater than 11 because it says exclusive and views less than or equal to 14 so that's inclusive so let's run so we can look at the results on line four we have a true and the third i don't have what uh what the values are so we have for line four a line of trues and falses for line seven a line of trues and falses and for line 10 we got a logical matrix which is our true false matrix so let's submit continue so they did this a lot different i guess they don't want us to use the console like they think that would be cheating. So we have to determine the outcome of this line. Uh, we're, we're looking at the exclamation point, which is the negative operator or neg negating operator. What you would use to say not equal. So if x is 5 and y is 7, I'm going to start, I'll, I'll start with the parentheses, the inside parentheses. So we have 5 less than 4, so that's false. But then you negate it, so it becomes true. Then we have y, so that's 7 greater than 12. So that's false. But then they negate it three times, so that'd be true false for this middle one and then true again for the third one so that's true so now what we have is an exclamation point with a true and true so the the true and true equals true so you have exclamation point true okay, let me so we have this um, equation or whatever it's called here 
So the true and true evaluates to true, and then you have the exclamation point outside, which turns it to a false. So from what I can tell, the answer will be false. Let's see. Great. All right. Continue.